Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. In the name of Allah, the most gracious, most merciful. Hello and welcome to a new episode of Teaching English on Durus Ain, Sober Goal 4. Be, uh, before we start, let's uh, review the uh, objectives of today. We start with uh, number one, the students will be able to identify some new expressions based on a conversation. Also, students will be able to answer comprehension questions based on reading. The students will be able to identify using the passive form in present simple and in the past simple. Also, the students will be able to, to use so and such to make the meaning of an adjective or adverb stronger. Uh, the last objective of today, the students will be able to use so plus many plus plural count, uh, count noun and so plus much plus count noun and uh, plus uh, non-count noun. Uh, today we are ending up our uh, uh, unit, which is unit three. The, the unit is under the title, There is no comparison. And today we are going to study uh, 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 six sections that are uh, co conversation about you, reading, writing, project, form and form meaning and function. Uh, you know, we introduced the unit in the previous lesson and we told you that the title of this unit is there is no comparison. That means we are going to, co to uh, concentrate in this unit on comparing two things, okay, that is called comparative form, and comparing one thing to others that is uh, co uh, called superlative form. Okay, uh, we start with the first section, which is number six, that is conversation. Uh, you can find it on page 22. Uh, you, will, you will read the conversation now. The main topic of this conversation is about uh, this thing, okay, what is it? What can you tell here? It is a laptop, that's right. And the other one here, this is a desktop. We have a laptop and a desktop. This conversation is between this guy here, his name is Badr, and the other guy here is Ali. What is the topic of their conversation? It is about laptop and desktop. Which one is better? According to uh, Badr, Badr thinks that the laptop is better than uh, the desktop. And Ali thinks that the, the desktop is better. Now let's read this conversation and find out what Ali says about the computer and how he uh, tries to convince better that the laptop is better than, uh, the desktop is better than the laptop. Okay, now we start with the first section here, or first, uh, Ali started with, so what's new? You need to know the, the meaning of this expression, what's new? So we'll let you listen and read along with this conversation. So, what's new? I bought myself a computer. What kind? A laptop. Laptops are friendlier to use and are cheaper than other computers. Does it have internet? Not yet. I'm going to install that next week. I don't like laptops. I prefer desktops. Desktops are easier to use, especially if you have to write and print a lot. Laptops. You have to recharge them all the time, and their screen is much smaller. I don't agree. Laptops are the best. You can surf the net, send emails, and study anywhere. You don't have to wait until you get home. Well, I still think desktops are much more convenient than laptops. Yeah, but you can't take one with you. Okay, so do you go with Ali or with Better? Which one is better, laptop or uh, desktop? Okay, here we have some expression here. The conversation we started with Ali saying, what's new? What do you mean by what's new? When somebody asks you what's new, he or she means that, tell me about what happened to you recently. Okay, what is the latest news about you? And this is the expression used to be used in conversations. Okay, now let's answer the questions. What does Better say about laptops? Badr says that it is friendlier and cheaper. Okay, why does Ali prefer desktops? What's the reason? He thinks that it is easier uh, to use and to print. Number three, why doesn't Ali keep, uh, uh, why doesn't Ali like laptops? What's the reason? He thinks that it, is, it needs to be recharged so many times and he thinks also the screen is smaller. Why does Badr think laptops are the best? He thinks that he can surf internet, send email, and he can play games uh, anywhere, okay? 
Now you need to work in a group in the, your, your term time uh, to choose a high-tech device or a sport. Then you argue for uh, against it with another uh, group. So you tell that you think that this device or this gadget is better than the other and you can argue that with your colleagues and give uh, reasons and results for uh, your justifications. Now the about you section here, we, we can ask you some questions about you and to uh, think about the device that you're going to choose and defend uh, about your ideas when you argue with your colleagues. Uh, what kind of computer do you prefer and why? Who is the youngest or the oldest student in your class? Okay. Number three, who do you think is the smartest? Uh, which is the, the hottest or uh, coldest city in your country? Also, you need to think which is the most famous city in your country. Who is the best football player in your country? Uh, where can you eat the best food in your uh, uh, town? What things are better or worse in your neighborhood now uh, than five years ago? Okay, so here you notice we have the comparative forms and the superlative forms. When you answer these questions, you will be able to use them. Now we move to the, the second section of the, our class today that is uh, about reading. In this uh, lesson, we are going to read a text about the Saudi Arabian vision uh, 2030. What do you want to know about the vision and how ambitious this vision is? This is what we're going to learn about it. Uh, that is the vision of Prince Mohammed bin Salman, uh, the crown prince. Now before reading, let's think and make brainstorming about what we're going to read and uh, this will help us to understand the meaning of the text. Imagine the kingdom of Saudi Arabia in 2030. Think of the, of the future in 2030, how Saudi Arabia is going to be. Read the text and find out about changes in the cities, towns, people, uh, housing, jobs, schools, universities and more. Just try to imagine the thing that will happen in 2030. And also look at the questions that we are going to answer in after reading to find out uh, the, the, answer, the, real, uh, the correct answer for them. Name some of the natural resources in Saudi Arabia. What are the natural resources that you're going to, uh, to, to learn in this uh, reading? What kind of society does the kingdom have? Okay. What type of social services, for example, healthcare, education, and events will be, will be available? Okay, describe the, new, uh, the, uh, renewed, uh, the renew, renewed business environment in 2030. Number five, how will people benefit from technological development? And the last question here, what will uh, attract investors from other countries to come to Saudi Arabia? The, this, the answer of these questions you will find them in uh, the reading passages that we're going to show you. And we start with the introduction in paragraph number one. So we'll go, the, we'll find some visuals, some pictures that will help you understand the meaning of these uh, 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 paragraphs, okay? Let's start with the paragraph number one and we'll go continuously on the other uh, paragraphs, okay? The kingdom of Saudi Arabia has a great amount of natural resources such as oil, gold, phosphate, uranium, and other valuable minerals. But more importantly, it is blessed with the strength, potential, and ambition of its people. The children of the kingdom's family-oriented Islamic society will be the force of the future. Families will receive all the support they need to raise their children according to Islamic values and help them develop their abilities. There will be more libraries, galleries, and museums in different areas. Cultural events and activities will be organized to educate and provide entertainment. Healthcare and education will be available to all citizens, making their lives happier and more secure. A healthy economy will offer opportunities to large and small businesses. Quality services and facilities will attract investors from different countries. A renewed business environment will provide professional opportunities to all citizens. A high quality educational system that meets the needs of the job market will provide Saudi professionals with the necessary knowledge and skills. 
The kingdom's strategic position will make it an international trade and transportation center. It will become the hub that will connect Africa, Asia, and Europe. Telecommunications and information technology will be developed in and around cities. This will make it easier for people to communicate across the globe and access information. Government services will support the growth and development of private and non-profit organizations and help them to operate successfully. Now, you, 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 know, uh, you know this uh, text is adapted from uh, uh, the, the, the website of Saudi Arabian Vision Program and we can find there uh, some uh, the quotation from uh, King Salman bin Abdul Aziz when he says, my primary goal is to be uh, an exemplary and leading nation in all aspects and I will work with you in achieving this endeavor. And also we can say a quotation from Prince Mohammed bin Salman, the Crown Prince, our real wealth it lies in the ambition of our people and the potential of our younger generation. Okay, now it's time to answer the questions here. The question number one, name some of the natural resources in Saudi Arabia. We can name here valuable minerals, for example, oil, gold, phosphate, and uranium. Okay, what kind of society does the kingdom have? The kingdom has a strong family-oriented Islamic society. Number three, what type of social services, for example, healthcare, education, events will be available? We, we can say here social services will include health, care, and high quality education for all citizens, as well as uh, librarians, uh, galleries, and so on. Okay, number four, describe the, the renewed business environment in 2030. There will be opportunities for uh, large and small businesses, new investors from other countries. Number five, how will people benefit from uh, technological development? They will, uh, the, the technological development will improve communication and make it possible for people to access information through the internet. What will attract investors from other countries? Quality services and facilities will attract investors to come from different countries. And we move to uh, act activity number nine, that is uh, writing. Okay, in this section here, we will learn how to use the passive. Use the passive to emphasize the action and not who or what uh, does it. Now, look, for example, here, to make a passive, use the verb be and the past participle. This is how we make the passive form. Look at the example here. With the present symbol, we can say diamonds are made. Okay, that means somebody made, uh, the, the, uh, ha, has made uh, uh, diamonds. Okay, so he, we, we use the passive form here, entirely of carbon. In the past, we can say the, colon the colonial diamond was found in Africa. So was found here, this is the passive form of the sentence. We can use also by, we call it the agent here, to show, uh, sorry, by, to, after that we, we, uh, we use the agent the person or thing that does the action when it is needed, not, it's not a must. Diamonds are pushed to the surface by volcanic activity. So here, volcanic activity is called the agent. The pencil was invented by Italian couple named uh, Bernacotti. And you can find the irregular verbs on page 83. You can go and check for them. Also, here we're starting the, com the, the, the reading passage. Uh, uh, that's an example of uh, how we use the passive form, you need to read information in the writing corner with your teacher, then you write the correct passive form in the present and in the past of the verbs in parentheses to complete the text. Okay, diamond's automatic structure. This is the diamond structure. Now here we have some verbs, we need to change them into passive. Look at the, the first one here, make, we, can, we have the subject day, so we can use are, so we can say here, are made, and the past participle of the verb make uh, is made. So we can say here also is used. Number three, we can say is made. Okay, number four, we can say uh, is formed. You can find that uh, on your book on page uh, 25. You can read it and fill in the uh, blanks. The next paragraph here, diamonds, we can use, uh, use here uh, uh, is or are. Okay, you can use are because we have it in, uh, uh, in plural form. So diamonds are and the past participle of the verb 
form which is uh, the, the, ir the regular verb is used as formed. Uh, the verb push, we can say are pushed. Find here is irregular verb, so the subject it, so we can say is, is found. Number eight, the verb cut here, what do you say? Was cut. And number nine here, we can say is called. And number ten, the last one here, because we have uh, the, the uh, non-diamond as uh, singular, we can say here is produced. Okay, produced is the past participle of the verb produce. Okay, be, now in the section, uh, the second exercise, exercise B, write about a place, a person, a thing, or an animal from a book of records. That means it is standing out. It is distinguished from other uh, things. Say why it is the, the biggest, the best, the most wonderful, and so on. Use the passive where possible. We told you to use the passive. You have to use the verb be, okay, am, um, is, are, if it is in the present, or was, where, if it is in the past, and uh, it should be followed by the past participle form of the verb, okay? Now we move to the project section here. What are you going to do here in this project? You can do a research on ancient monument, the thing that you have in your country, which is very old, okay? And you, you need to present, it to, uh, to, to present your research to the class. You, you, you collect information about this place and you present it to the class. Like what? Like here we can see some uh, locations or uh, uh, sites in Saudi Arabia, like Madain Saleh, as you can see here. This is Umar bin Khattab Mosque also. You can see Al Masmak Fort, and you, see, you can see other places that are considered as monuments and very ancient, very uh, old, which we call them ancient uh, sites. Okay? We move to the, uh, the last section of our class today, that is for meaning and function. What are we going to learn in this section here? So that and such that. How do we use these uh, this is expressions? So and such make the meaning of an adjective adverb stronger. When we use them before the adjective or adverb, we make them stronger, okay? Uh, so and the adjective or the adverb plus that and such uh, plus the verb and adjective plus that are used to show cause and effect, okay? Uh, we will come to come to some examples later on. So adjective and adverb plus that, he is so fast that he won the race to the extent that he won the race. So when we use so here, we are, um, so we use it as an intensifier here. We are modifying the adjective fast. So he was so fast to the extent that he won the race. He ran so quickly that he won the race. We can say also, uh, use so here to modify the adjective. The, ad the adverb here. And the first one is modifies the adjective, uh, the adverb. Both of them are adverb. Fast and uh, quick. Okay? Sorry, the first one, he is so fast. Here, fast is an adjective. The second one here is uh, an adverb. So we can use them with adjectives or with adverbs. So many plus plural count uh, noun plus that. He has so many books, okay, that he can hardly carry them. So here also say, so is used as an intensifier. We use so plus much plus non-count noun and that. I have so much homework that I can't go out uh, tonight. Notice here why you, we use uh, much here because we consider homework as a non-count noun. So we can say here, here, I have so much homework that I can't go out tonight. And the last section of, of, to, of this for, uh, for meaning and function, such plus adjective plus noun and that, Look at the example here. It was such a difficult test that none of the students did well. All of the, of the students didn't do well, so uh, to the extent that it was uh, very difficult. So we can use it was such a difficult test that no one uh, get uh, high mark. Also another example here, Ali, uh, Ali is such a smart boy that he has the, the best grades in the school. Okay, so here we're describing Ali as having a very high mark and he is distinguished in the classroom so we use uh, such to uh, uh, intensify the verb the adjective smart okay let's see, do some examples here Ex uh, with the exercise a complete the sentence with so or such diamonds are we can say here so hard okay can uh, that you can't uh, break them uh, with a hammer sharks have do we say here so, such or so, we can say such. Sensitive hearing that you, they can hear 
their prey miles away. And number three, it is a luxurious hotel uh, that the, the cheapest suite is 1,000 per night. So we can say here such. And number four, he came into the room uh, so quietly that no one heard him, to an extent that nobody heard him. The leather shoes were such a, a bargain that he, sorry, that she bought three pairs. Okay, Ahmed was so hungry that he ate three burgers and uh, two, si two, slides, two sides of uh, fries. Okay, that is how we use so. An exercise be here, complete the sentences with so many and so much. Here we have the, the example, uh, our neighbor made noise. Look at the, the adjective here, noise, uh, is the noun noise here. Is it uh, countable or non-countable noun? It is considered as non-countable. So we say here, so much. Okay, you know that we're using much, we use much with non-countable and we use many with countable nouns. Okay, uh, how do we know? There is no S, there is no uh, uh, definite uh, article uh, uh, or an. So here we, we, we use it uh, with so, uh, so much. So that my neighbors made so much noise that I couldn't sleep last night. Next, there was, what can we say here? So much. Why? Because traffic here is considered as an uncountable noun. Okay, there was so much traffic on the road that they arrived late. Number three, I have so many. Why do we so many here? Because we're talking about books, and books are countable nouns. We can count books. We can say one book, two books, three books, and so on. That they don't for, uh, all fit in uh, the book case. Number four, he spends time. Do we consider time as countable or non-countable? Okay, it is uncountable, so we can say here, so much time. Working that uh, he rarely sees his friends. And number five, there are species here. Species, we co consider them as countable, so we can say so many. So many species uh, of animal that it is uh, possible to count them all. An exercise C here, combine the sentences with so, so that and such that. The children were uh, tired after their school trip. They fell asleep on the bus. How can we, how can we connect or uh, join the sentence, combine the sentence using so that and such that? We can say the following here. The children were so tired after their uh, school trip that they fell asleep on the bus to the ex extent that they fell asleep. And number three, it was a beautiful day. We decided to go for a drive in the countryside. Look at these two sentences. We, know we need to join them using so that and such that. Let's try this one. It was such a beautiful day that we decided to go for a drive in the countryside. And number three, there were many people in the supermarket. We had to wait uh, uh, in line for, a half, uh, for half an hour. The answer for this sentence, there were so many people in the supermarket that we had to wait in the line for half an hour. Okay, the other sections here, we will uh, l l let you listen to it with uh, a class, uh, class with a, uh, a colleague of yours, okay? Four, the World Cup is such a popular sporting event that over a billion viewers watch it on TV. Five, the Arabian oryx was such an endangered species that it was extinct in the wild. Okay, so the answer for their first one, number four here, the World Cup is such a popular sporting event that over a billion uh, viewers watch uh, it on TV. And number five, the Arabian oryx, that you remember that we studied in the previous lesson, the Arabian oryx was an, an endangered species. It was extinct in the wild. So we can join these two sentences using so that and such that by, using, by saying like this. The Arabian oryx was such an endangered species that it was extinct in the wild. And by this, we come to the end of our class today. Thank you for watching and see you, inshallah, in our next episode. Goodbye.